going on YouTube? My name is Jeremiah James and in this video we're going to talk about how to conjure feeling through sound and we're going to use Sparks Coldplay as our example for analysis here. So Sparks by Coldplay is a pretty sad song, right? It's melancholy, it's forlorn, um, it's sad. He's talking to someone who, who's either there or not there, um, but they have previously had some sort of connection, some sort of relationship, and that's indicated in the lyrics. And um, he's just singing and feeling and, and telling her something. And that's conveyed through the melody, it's conveyed through the chord progression, it's conveyed through the lyrics, and all those things tie together to create this feeling that's very powerful. Um, and that's why Sparks is a great song. So today I wanna break that down and, and talk a little bit about it. So the song starts out with this intro, right? It's That intro automatically gets you going in the swaying, like, okay, he's got something to say, it's a little melancholy, it's a little sad, but what is he talking about, right? So it's a great setup, a great introduction to get uh, people interested, right? And it's just a couple chord changes, right? So if he just stayed on an A minor, that would have been boring, right? But instead we have this intro that's very dynamic. It's Then we pop into the verse, which is a C to an A minor 7, right? And then our melody on top of it is da -da 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 -da. By the way, I'm living in Broomfield, Colorado right now, and there's like 80 mile an hour wind outside, so if one of the windows shatters, somebody did not throw a brick in here, it was just the uh, good old plains wind rolling through here. <laughs> um, Anyway, going back to the song here, we've got the C in the A minor, and we've got this melody, da -da 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 -da. and meanwhile we have this kind of swaying motion that's created through the chords. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da um, so that melody is very relaxed and um, it's almost like spoken word, like he's having a conversation with this person and he's really talking to them. And that's why it's so powerful is, it, is you really feel it. You're like, hey, he's talking to me. Um, and the lyrics are great too. So we've got the... Did I drive you away? And that right there uh, immediately creates that feeling of separation. He's talking to somebody he, who, who he used to know, um, but they're gone. Um, or maybe they were gone for a little bit and now they're back and he's telling them did I drive you away? What did I do wrong? You know, he's almost like apologizing already. Um, so Did I drive you away? Oh, I know what you'll say You'll say, oh, oh same one you know And all of that is pretty much going over the C to A minor 7 um, and then there's a little hook same one you know happens on this F major 7 chord but yeah it's all in the key of C it's C A minor and F and those chords are staying pretty stagnant it's the melody that's changing a lot in the verse and it's the story that's developing so he's talking to this person and uh, he asked did I drive you away and then oh I know what you'll say sing one you know so like they already know each other and he's sung to her before but she wants him to sing one he knows so she can feel it. And this story is, is really starting to develop. He's not saying a lot, there's not a lot of lyrics going on, but it's very conversational and down to earth, and it's something that anyone can relate to, right? Okay, so the next line in the verse is, but I promise you this, I'll always be there for you. So he set it up, did I drive you away? He's asking, did I push you out there? Was it me? Is this the reason we're not hanging out anymore? Is this the reason we're not in a relationship? Um, and then whether or not you decide to keep me, I'll be there for you. Like my door is always open, no matter what, that kind of thinking. Um, so that's the setup in that first verse. And then um, the chorus is really powerful because we've had this 
dynamic melody changing on top of steady stagnant chords you know and now we're gonna hang on to the same melody that shoots way up across in the chorus and the chords underneath are gonna change so we have the and oh. breath to get all the way across there but you get the point um, you have all those chords changing underneath and that change up is really interesting because we pretty much inverted what was going on in the verse and then had that change up in the chorus happen um, and the emotion of the and I is is a cry he's crying he's pretty much saying like I'm sorry and you can feel it in this uh, in this chorus here, it's very simple, um, but it's heartfelt and soulful. Um, so we have the and I going across in the chorus, and then he shoots up higher and he goes and I, and we're back into the verse. So very short chorus, but a powerful one, and the dynamic change up really creates interest and creates this sense of energy buildup as we pop back into our second verse. So we've got the second verse. And uh, he's saying, my heart is yours. It's you that I hold on to. My heart is yours. It's you that I hold on to. That's what I do. Which is kind of what he was saying in the second half of the first verse. But I promise you this, um, I'll always be there for you. Now he's saying, my heart is yours. Like, you can go away, but my heart's still yours and it's no one else's. Like, I'm locked up with you. My soul is tied to you. That kind of uh, thinking is going on in these lyrics. Um, and then the last half of that second verse is, I know I was wrong um, and I won't let you down. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So he's saying, I'm going to try to not let you down, but I'm human, so I will. I, I'm going to do my best, but it's inevitable that I'll fall short because I'm human. And that's very emotional, conversational, and it's very heartfelt. So again, it just continues the story. And then we go back to that chorus with the dynamic change up and uh, the cry. And the song finishes with this outro. Um, the outro... Uh, after the, the chorus where the second I hits where it's and I, I said I, I saw sparks I saw sparks I saw sparks I saw sparks line is a little ambiguous and vague it's open to interpretation which I think is a great way to end the song because it gets people um, thinking but you know sparks is probably some sort of emotional concept of like you know uh, we were meant to be like I felt something with you and that's what sparks is really saying um, but I'm sure you know you guys can comment below and tell me what you think the meaning of I saw sparks is and um, then just finishing with that ah, 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 is a great kind of like tie tying the knot on the bow um, and, and sealing the feeling of the song and um, yeah and that's that's sparks in a nutshell that's my analysis of it um, we could get into the chord breakdown and the music theory to me music is about feeling the chords are just these bumpers that are there and once you know the bumpers are there you can take them out and you know doodle and feel things and you know a chord's a chord but what's the feeling behind the chord that's what matters um, so but yeah if you guys want to talk about music theory and chord structure and chord breakdown we can do that just comment below let me know what you guys think 
and I'm gonna keep breaking down some of these songs and giving you guys my thoughts on things as a songwriter and if you enjoy this kind of stuff make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to follow my channel and uh, check out my content so thanks for watching guys